Okay, after camping in the wild for a couple days, it's good to get back, check my messages, stopping in Kamloops first. First thing is a McDonald's coffee rather than a campfire coffee. And uh, we'll finish up our day in Kamloops, check out a couple little things here, go to the waterfront, parks, and uh, maybe a brewery. I'm not sure yet, 100%. But let's see what today brings up. Art gallery. No, it says gallery something. Gallery, what kind of club? Courthouse. Yeah. Huh? Courthouse gallery. Club. Ah. Not art gallery here. And of course, somebody forgets his mask in the car, so I'm I'm a bad boy and not allowed anywhere. <laughs> yeah, building is beautiful though for a courthouse, huh? Looks like our car, the white one. This reminds me of a few people I know with the nose ring. Just put a chain and take the people. No. <laughs> Okay, kind of wandering through Kelowna here and there's a small group gathering of car guys here. Probably a car group and there is a pretty nice green Cobra here. I don't know if it's a 429 car, 351 car, hard to say. This looks like a 70, I'm guessing, not a 71, I'm not sure. But this doesn't have the hood pins, it doesn't have the shaker. It has a sport slat and doesn't have the wing. But nevertheless, it is a pretty clean car. It's got the front spoiler. So I had one of these a long time ago. It wasn't a Cobra. It was a 71 GT. It had the shaker. It had the sport slats. And it had the wing. Black interior. 391 gears. Yeah, automatic uh, car. And very similar to this. And these are actually a pretty beautiful car. Well, okay, we didn't spend a lot of time in Kamloops, maybe four or five hours, kind of walked the streets, so I don't have a lot to show you. Checked out a couple of parks like this one that you'll see, and uh, they're supposed to have some music, live music going on tonight, but maybe it's canceled due to Corona. I don't know. I'm a little unsure. So we still got an hour and 20 minutes before that was supposed to happen or is going to happen. So we'll wait a little bit. I'll read a book. But I see nobody setting up. So I'm kind of doubting this will happen. Uh, apparently, trains are very important to Kamloops and its history. And they have a big museum or something here on that. But I'm not going to go to that today. They also have a steam train ride or something like that but we're not gonna do that either today we're gonna sit here and listen to it grind away that doesn't sound good does it eh, yeah Kamloops about a hundred thousand people is what my understanding is so maybe there's a not a lot for us to explore today and we have to be back tonight anyways or at least by minimum nine o'clock tomorrow she has work and I have to go for testing. So yeah, interesting day tomorrow. So we might need the rest today, but we'll wait around for an hour. I'm gonna go read a book and we'll get back to you. One thing I gotta admit, the roses here look beautiful. Some of them are obviously dying off cause end of season, but these pink guys are pretty cool. And sure enough, the rains came and we missed our free outdoor concert. Looks like it's gonna get foggy. Oh, there's cattle up there on that hill. Wow. Kind of middle of nowhere. Or is it fog or rain? I can't tell, but oh yeah. Cool looking. This one is definitely smoke. Oh yeah. This isn't fog, this is smoke. Huh? Wow. Wow, it's thick as I can. Taste the wild fires that were burning around British Columbia. Okay kids, after a four hour drive from Kamloops all the way to here, home, Vancouver, we're tired out. And I guess it's actually been longer than four hours is why I say I'm tired out. Because we started driving at 11 this morning from our campsite 
to Kelowna and then drove all around Kelowna, Kamloops. I said Kelowna. See, I'm so tired. We drove to Kamloops and then drove all around Kamloops. But we're done and calling it quit. To tomorrow we'll all unpack because I'm only unpacking food tonight. So cheers till morning. Well, it's a day after our awesome trip. Trip of awesomeness, maybe that's what I should name it. On little sleep, we're emptying out the car, cleaning it up, so we're gonna put all our uh, camping and tent stuff, our sleeping foam, all that goes away into storage. And I'm gonna clean all the utensils and pots and pans and all the little thing. One of the best things we ever bought was this tent. It's actually a youth camping tent, but it's pretty large. It's six foot by seven feet, fits my needs, fits everything we do. It's been pretty good so far. I like the way it sets up. Maybe I'll do a review sometimes or sometime. See, I'm tired. And uh, yeah, we'll finish putting everything away and come back and do a wrap up and go on to what's gonna happen next. Just got back. Only three, four hours of sleep and already planning the next trip. How bad is that? So excited to always adventure. Adventures to happiness. That's us. Uh, we unloaded the food last night. Did all that. Most, I still got to just unload now all of this uh, camping stuff and car camping stuff. And I'll t take some of the clothes up. That's hers. I already did mine. So my friends, uh, yeah, raining outside. I went for a drive this morning. I had to hook up to my monitor. So I got a heart rate monitor on for the next day minimum. And then we'll see what happens there. So uh, let's grab everything and yeah, call it a day. Or maybe an end to the video. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. The only reason why we had to come back from our one week excursion was to get my heart checkup done and to get my heart rate monitor put on and we'll leave this story till next time and we'll see what becomes so until of next time be careful out there camping for people like me because well i don't have to tell you what because of anyways we'll see you next time stay awesome kids and until next time cheers